Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I'm going to show you how to export checkpoint security logs into Excel in a CSV format. So this is the smart console under the log view and you have been able to export from this view within the R80 family but within R81 it actually changed to well guide you to what you should actually use to get the most out of it. So if you just do it from here within the R80 until R81 you do the uh, this one, options, file, export to Excel CSV. But the issue with this one is that it's only exporting the things that you actually see on the screen. So in this case, I will get 250 results. And of course I can scroll down and get a few more. But the issue with this one, it's really hard to get like a million results that you actually want. So within R81, they actually changed this. So within the option, file, export to Excel CSV, they actually say to export logs to Excel, please use smart view web application. So what is smart view? Well, if you open Google Chrome or any web browser and you try to go to the web interface of your management station, so even if you have a log server, you should still go to your, well, management station because this is what will show up. So if you just go with a normal IP address, HTTPS, and then just go, then you will enter the Gaia portal. So this is like, well, where you can change settings for SNMP or interfaces or whatever. But in R81, you have the smart console. So if you go uh, and log in here, you get the smart console, but in a web interface. And you see here, you do slash smart console for this one. So smart view, you actually do the HTTPS and then the management station IP address or DNS name, and then do slash smart view. So if you log in here, you will actually get a log view. And if you go to, well, to the logs, just double click, you're able to have like a smart log within a web interface, but within this one, you can filter, you can do all the nice stuff as you can do in the normal smart log. Um, there are some limitations. You are not able to go to like the rule and so on, but you're able to do options and then export, export to Excel. And here you're able to pick, I want this many logs. So I want 1 million log files or 1 million lines of logs, not log files. And I want to have all columns, or do you want to have all visible? When they're referring to all visible, that's all the things that you have picked here. If you want to have more here, well, then you do as a normal. You do the profile editors, and then you can add additional fields. But if you just want to export everything, and you want the 1 million log files, or 1 million lines of logs, then you do the options, export, export to Excel, 1 million, all columns, and then just do OK. And it will start and it will take a few minutes and then you're able to download it. And you can download it from, let's see, I think it's here options. And then um, if it's logs, no, tasks here. So here you're able to download it. So if you press here, you can download and this one is still running. Um, in production, depending on how fast, well, machines you have, it will take you, yeah, I'll say it take like five to 10 minutes and then it's just done. Um, and 1 million lines of logs, that could be one hour depending on your system or it can be three months. It, it really depends on how much logs that you actually have. Um, if you filter more here, you will get out what you actually filter. But in this case, we will just wait for this to run and then I will show you how it looks. So I did just notice something cool within the web smart console. You can go to logs and monitor and then you can go to logs and you're able to actually run that uh, export command here. So option export, export to Excel. And you can see here, 
you have up to 1 million logs so we take we take 1000 logs because I actually cancelled the old uh, old file so we do all visible 1000 logs and okay and that also means that within logs and monitors you can see uh, you can see here it was successful enough uh, under uh, archive you can see the jobs that we have actually done so this is uh, completed this was cancelled and this was just run and then we can just download it from here and we have this file so let's open excel and let's check how it looks so this is how it looks in excel when you have all the fields uh, so you see here the rule id you have the well strange numbers so this is not part of let's say here because you actually don't see that uh, field here uh, so this is what you get when you pick all uh, all fields and not just all visible and you can filter if you want uh, source nat I mean this is a lab so we don't really have so much to filter on but you can see that it's quite a lot of columns that um, that include things that you can filter on so this is really nice to have if you want to send logs to someone else that doesn't really have like the web console or uh, smart console at all and just want to filter in Excel. I don't know why, but um, we do it quite often actually to send it to different things and um, it's really valuable. So just to, to highlight this, if we go back to smart view where we actually started the first one, we can download the files from here as well. And it's just under archive and it's the same thing. You just download and then you get the file. So I really like that the web smart console implemented this option. Um, so now just checkpoint add it to the normal smart console as well. So we have the same look and feel everywhere. So I think this is it and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.